All right, day four of the school year. Um, and now I finally get to talk about what we did on the first day. So on the first day, second day, uh, I thought it was really important to get into Charlottesville and what's happening recently in our country with uh, the protests and the hate groups that are emerging and seem to be more prevalent and that our students are dealing with and have questions about. So first day after doing some kind of uh, icebreakers and getting to know the class and having them go around and introduce themselves by name, um, by the preferred gender pronouns, things like that. Uh, then we just had a discussion in class about what, what have you been hearing about current events? And just a couple things came up, right? Hurricane Harvey came up and we took some time to talk about that and um, you know what that means for people in Houston and, and the surrounding area and the um, you know environmental impacts that that has and how it got caused, how it might be connected to climate change uh, and how it is displacing families all over the place. So we got to talk about that a little bit. We talked about the the bombing in Sp or the I'm sorry, not the bombing, the the attack in Spain, the when the person drove through a crowd, but then that inevitably led to somebody bringing up Charlottesville. And so I wanted to dig into Charlottesville a little bit more with my students. And so I started asking them what they'd heard about or what they, you know, what what was in the news that they heard or what they saw on social media. And three topics kind of emerged from that. We I a lot of discussion about Confederate monuments, um, about hate groups in general, and about protest as a form of resistance. And so I decided at the end of the period, we put up on the board um, the different topics that the students had generated from what their prior knowledge was. And then uh, as an exit ticket for that first day, I just had them get a sticky note and write some questions that they had about those topics about what they were curious about and things like that so for hate group we had things like um, why does the u.s allow hate groups right um, they were wondering about that like why is that so prevalent why is that a thing that we allow to happen in the united states um, what do hate groups hope to accomplish are hate groups the equivalent of terrorism so does the kkk equal isis uh, is it hypocritical to hate a hate group so once we had all of those, um, those questions formed, I, I said that I would prepare a presentation for the next day. So I put together a PowerPoint, um, if you want it, let me know, uh, and made it where we got to talk about, all right, what is the history behind some of the hate groups and how do they raise, where are they at? We looked at the Southern Poverty Law Center's hate map and tracked what groups are active in the United States and what groups are active in Washington, our state, and nearby here. And then we started to talk about, you know, the why. Why do they exist? Why are they allowed to exist? What do they hope to accomplish and things like that? Um, and really got into some good conversations uh, in our class about those different topics and about what that means and really trying to help students understand why they're there, but also how do we combat it? How do we combat hate? How do we stand against that? How do we um, hope that our country represents something more than that? And so, you know, getting into that and how you can get involved and how getting to know one another and having those conversations leads to love and leads to the antithesis of hate and prevents those groups from having any real power. So that's what we got into. Um, continue to talk about current events, make it relevant for your students, and address the things that are making them feel unsafe. So I'll see you on day five.